Well, uh, this has been a blast and we've been, we've been having such a great experience at this Hackfest for the past two weeks. Well then, my name is Yuer Mulatsu, as you all know. Uh, I'm going to be presenting the final report for the Ethernet repository project that I've been working on. As we have been uh, discussing for the past two presentations and on the mute term in the first use case presentation, Ethiopia has a lot of public universities and of course more than 101 private colleges and universities. And these universities have, uh, I mean, they, comp they, 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 they are composed of uh, a lot of educational and research communities. These research communities do not have repositories to post their publications, to post their theses, projects, and papers of their students and uh, their researchers. So this makes it difficult for the national and international community, research community, to recognize and uh, see the potential of these students and research communities in Ethiopia. So because of these reasons, it has been uh, problematic or it has been difficult for these uh, people in these research communities to uh, get resources and information on previously, previously conducted research. And if uh, checking if a title of a thesis or research or a publication has already been done or already been conducted, and if so, uh, how much progress has uh, those people making those research have made? It has also been uh, difficult for people to have a right, authorship rights, a license, and citability for their researches and publications. These researchers in Ethiopia, uh, in this educational and research communities of Ethiopia, uh, are not visible to the international science and research communities. Because uh, since, since we're not uh, since these uh, research and theses are now posted to the international community, they're not being recognized for their work. Uh, till now, I mean, till uh, almost yesterday, we, we, we were not uh, able to provide digital object identifiers for our digital uh, products, like our theses, publications, and so on. And we still don't have repositories of localized content. Therefore, during this, this Hackfest, during these two weeks of the Hackfest, we've been able to deploy and work on the uh, clone of the SciGaia OER. We have been configuring, I mean, I have been configuring the underlying Invenio 1.2 platform to better suit our needs for Ethiopia. We have also, uh, I have also created document types for search and summit, which are uh, more suitable to this international, um, national research and educational community, uh, like thesis, publications, presentations, softwares, and so on. We've also managed to create collections uh, under each document type for each in institute, like Ethernet, Addisaba University, Institute of Technology, and Bardar University, and so on. We have also managed to integrate federated authentication for the system. This is the final result of the Hackfest on the Ethernet repository. As you can see right here, we have about seven data types that, that can be posted and searched, like publications, presentations, theses, posters, and so on. And each university or institute is, ha, also has a category under each data type. So people can search, refine their search, submit, and upload. Right here, you can see that uh, the uh, under publications, you have seen the publications, Ethernet, uh, presentations, Ethernet, presentations at Sam University, at Sam University, Institute of Technology, and so on. So under that specific search, filtering it, specifying it, these are how, how you're going to see the records, so how you're going to see the presentations to be visible to the public. This is an authenticated user, so this user can uh, also submit and search. One of these records, when seen, uh, when it's in, in detailed record, you can see that it, it, it just does not provide, it does not provide just the information, but also provides references, citations on this research or presentation type, 
also provides a discussion forum for this uh, typical presentation, provides statistics, usage statistics, how people are, have been using it, provides citations on this uh, specific presentation. So basically it provides everything that is concerned, uh, that's connected with this presentation. Uh, you can see right here that it's digital object identifier is uh, Ethernet's identifier. So basically after this, after this is made public, we can have our research communities and educational communities to post their digital, uh, digital uh, records and then have a, unify, any, a unique identifier for, just, for their digital objects. Right here you can see that we have got uh, those categories that we have listed in the search category that we can use to submit those records. This is a specific category that we can use, thesis. Uh, it has Addis Ababa University, AIT, BDU, and uh, Barda University, and in time, we'll add all the search three public universities and expand from there. Our future plans, uh, specifically in Ethernet, to develop from this, uh, what, what we already have developed, is to s provide support for local languages, like Amharic or Romic, and so on. Since the researches are not just made on engineering and scientific uh, topics, but also on local topics like language, socioeconomic development. So we'll provide this local language. Uh, we will try to increase the, the visibility of Ethiopian research community to the international research communities. We'll provide the integration with ORCID. We will finish deploying. We have already de started deploying the Ethernet IDP, so we'll finish deploying the Ethernet IDP. Collect, organize, and build use cases, like we have already done here by training our colleagues, our uh, peers, and so on. During this Hackfest, we've had uh, quite a lot of experience, quite a lot of interactions with the SciGaia team that has been helping us and uh, assisting us on all or on our journey. It has been collaborative, it has been fun sometimes, and always, of course, when the light comes and goes. <laughs> uh, we've had some, so many challenging environments. We've, uh, we have learned how to manage these challenging environments and then how to overcome them. We've had experience of learning new platforms, experiencing new platforms like the Invenio platform that I've just introduced, and others. These are people that we would really like to thank. Mr. Mario Teresi, you've been a really great help for us, so thank you. <laughs> Rita. Rita, even though she's not here right now, we would like to thank her too. Dr. Roberto Barbara, you've been a great help, so thank you. Mr. Zalala Mosafa, it's been a great, uh, it's been a blast working with you, so thank you. And ev uh, all of you, the entire team of the SciGaia that have been here to help us, we would like to extend our gratitude for all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Joel.